Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be taking a look at a brand new game called Visions of Mana. Visions of Mana is a long awaited return to form for fans of the Mana series and today we are going to talk about the graphics, the gameplay, audio, story, value for money, pros and cons. So let's get started with the pros. Deep class and combat system with lots of customization. Beautiful vibrant world that feels alive. Engaging character arcs and a strong early story. Strategic combat that rewards thoughtful planning. And higher playability with varied classes and side content. And some of the cons are pacing issues in the latter half of the story. Visual bugs like frame rate drops and awkward lip syncing and occasional backtracking and padding that slow down the gameplay. Now let's talk about the gameplay. The game thrives on its deep class system and strategic combat. Each character's class is tied to elemental vessels and switching between these classes offers a refreshing variety of playstyles. Whether you are commanding a tank like Val with his Aegis class or transforming Karina into a Moon Cartoner, every battle requires careful planning. The absence of combo systems and real-time reflexes might throw off some action RPG fans, but the focus here is on exploiting elemental weaknesses and managing your party's skills. Boss battles in particular demand mastery of these mechanics, making each encounter feel satisfying. Exploration is another strong point. The open fields, hidden treasures and optional areas are a joy to discover, with the level design encouraging you to seek out every inch of the map. However, there is a noticeable amount of backtracking and some padding in the latter half of the game, which can slow things down. Now let's talk about the graphics. The vibrant, storybook-like visuals are a feast for the eyes. Each environment is beautifully crafted from lush jungles to icy tundras, making the world feel alive and full of wonder. The art style fits the high fantasy tone of the series perfectly. However, there are a few technical hiccups such as occasional frame rate drops and visual bugs like mismatched lip syncing or characters speaking without moving their mouths, but despite these small issues, the overall presentation is striking and immersive. The soundtrack in Visions of Mana is fitting for the high fantasy setting, with sweeping melodies and soothing tunes that enhance the magical atmosphere of the game. The voice acting is hit or miss, with some performances like Karina's inexplicable Texan accent feeling out of place. Thankfully, the voiceovers don't distract too much from the overall experience, and if they're not your style, you can always switch to the Japanese dub. The narrative in Visions of Mana starts strong with a simple engaging plot that feels both familiar and refreshing. You follow Val, a skilled swordsman on a pilgrimage with his friends, including the charming Hina. The early stages of the story are brisk and light-hearted with plenty of character development as you meet new party members along the way. Each character gets their own arc and by the end you'll feel attached to this diverse group. However, the story does hit a lull in the second half, slowing down with unnecessary exposition and padding. The momentum built in the first half is somewhat squandered but the ending is still emotionally satisfying and wraps things up well. Value for money. With a 40 hour main campaign and plenty of side quests, collectibles and optional content, Visions of Mana provides a solid amount of value for its price. The deep class system and replayability make it worth diving back into, especially if you enjoy experimenting with different character builds and strategies. Despite its pacing issues, the game offers a fulfilling JRPG experience that's hard to find elsewhere. Visions of Mana is a triumphant return for the Long Dormant series. It nails the core mechanics that fans have been missing, 
with its deep class system and satisfying combat. The beautiful world and likable characters make the journey a joy, even when the pacing stumbles in the second half. If you're a JRPG fan or someone who's waited years for a new mana title, this game won't disappoint. The rating we'll give it is 80 out of 100.